Hello there, this is Sim Racing Jason, and welcome to today's video where we are going to be diving into Automobilista 2 and getting behind the wheel of this cheeky little JCW Mini Cooper. Now, if you want to know why, well, you're going to have to join me out on track after the intro. Hello there, Mini fans, and welcome to a sunny Snetterton. And we are lining up. Once again, at the back of the grid to see how much fun we can have in this little uh, JCW Mini in Automobilista 2. Now, why am I driving this little Mini? It's not new to the sim. Well, it has been freshly overhauled using the new tyre and uh, suspension physics and data models that uh, Reza introduced in its latest build and uh, they're slowly but surely updating uh, with every little patch they're updating another batch of cars and in the latest build this little mini got a complete overhaul so what better time to dive in and check it out but what got me thinking about this car in the first place was actually nothing to do with the Reza Studios and their new uh, updates it was to do with Studio 397 and a tweet they sent out about R Factor 2 and the fact that they have a lot ooh cheeky they have licensed the um, JCW Mini Cooper to appear in R Factor 2 I assume later this year in one of their content drops and I thought to myself that car looks very familiar and you know, not just because I watch it most uh, Sundays as a group of enthusiastic drivers throw these things around on the uh, Toka package which is of course part of the British Touring Cars uh, series but I'd seen it in a sim racing title and once the old uh, grey matter had finally clicked into gear I thought AMS2 that's where I've seen it so why wait for Studio 397 to uh, finish their version and bring it to R Factor 2 when uh, Reza Studios have already finished theirs and it's in AMS2 and it's ready to race. So we're going to see what it's like. We're going to give a, an amateur sim racing assessment of the new physics and tyre model overhaul. And we're just going to we're going to have some tin top fun. A little bit of Hello, hey, we, a little bit of spec about the car. It's uh, front wheel drive, no no traction control, no ABS. Got a six speed sequential, and as I say, it runs in a little one make series on the uh, Toka race schedule in the UK. And uh, normally, whenever I watch it, there's a red flag somewhere. So. It gives you an idea of the door banging nature of the series and these little cars they are just ideal for it. They are quite wide, they have a wide track which does help with stability so it does give you a little bit of confidence but they have got a short wheelbase which means because the engine and the drivetrain and everything's all up the front is that you've got an incredibly light and skittish rear end so you you do see the drivers really working the wheel in real life and that translates perfectly into AMS2 you drive this car funny enough more from the rear than you do the front they're not the most powerful vehicle so they're not they're not like a you know like a British touring car where you've got more power than grip these are quite um, sort of benign 
cars to drive from the aspect of, you know, power under steer or torque steer. But it's all about the rear. It's all about controlling the, uh, the amount of grip and the amount of uh, turning. From, it's using steering input rather than throttle input. You will just be dancing these cars around on the limit of addition all the time from the back end like that. Now, fortunately, my uh, trusty Aki Force direct drive wheel works really, really well with uh, AMS2. So the level of detail, feedback is absolutely spot on. And the speed at which my wheel and the sim are feeding information back and forth is fantastic. It allows me to instantly feel that rear end snap. So I can immediately counteract that with a bit of input. And it makes driving these cars so much fun. It really is. You don't you don't need massive great big turbocharged rear wheel drive back end out cars to have fun it's not about how much power it's about the way that you know it's the way the chassis works the steering the brakes you know <laughs> if you can throw a car in like that oh no You could throw a car about like that. And you've got, and you're just, you're working the rear end. That's where the grip is, your limited grip wise. And it just makes for a, such an interesting driving style. They've even got that little. Four cylinder there, look screaming away at you. Oh yes, and you can hear you can hear the dump valve, the wastegate going. Oh, we're catching back up with the grid, but it's just such. Do you know what? This is an overlooked and underrated car. And it's kind of why this sort of content fits so well into AMS2 and later on when R Factor 2 uh, dropped their version. Because both these titles, they're known for their slightly offbeat, overlooked content. That you just come across, you find, you think, oh, I wonder what that's all about. And then you instantly fall in love. Curb with them because they are just a ton of fun. Right, come on, we're gaining back up, we're gaining back up. We're in the top ten. Got three laps to go. It's just a little as is my usual case with me. It's a little oh went in a bit deep there, look, understeer. You know, oh saying that you're rig grip limited you do have a point at which the front will wash out come on then chase him hunt him down the straight tuck in ooh, ooh, he's moving about I'm moving about take a bit of curb The selection of um, UK cars and tracks in this uh, <laughs> Brazilian, you know, predominantly Brazilian sim racing title is absolutely fantastic. You've got your Alton Parks, your Silverstones, your Brands Hatch, Cadwell Park. Now, how many sims can you say has got that as first party content, you know? Oh, 
Oh, he's not giving up. He's not giving up. Oh, I've gone in too deep. Back end's breaking away. Oh, but we're all... We're all wiggling around here. I've got the AI set to uh, 90% and 35% aggression. Seems about right. I'm going to get somewhere near the front by the end of the 10 laps, so... Which is my... Standard... Ooh, ooh, race length these days. It's about right. It's It sort of mimics the real-life nature of a lot of these tin tops type uh, race formats. They sort of race little and often. And that suits me down to the ground. And it also means when I'm producing videos, you don't have to listen to me rambling on about nothing for too long either. As I say, this is not the only AMS2 content that's coming coming up uh, fairly soon because we also have a selection of caterums in this title and guess what, R Factor 2 are just released as part of their Q3 update you guessed it, a caterum so it's going to be time to don the VR headset and uh, a battle of the sims and see which one has the best caterum so uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see what that's all about and who wins that particular battle but in the meantime oh look at these two they're having a, they're getting stuck into each other which means that we can then join in the fun which way can we go he's going left right we're gonna go left oh my god don't even know my left from my right, so how old am I getting? Come on, we've got to find a way around. Doesn't this sim racing title look bloody fantastic? We were all a little like, mm, madness engine. All right, Reza, all right. You must know what you're doing. Oh, they knew what they were doing. Have they unlocked the potential of this engine? Especially with the, you know, the builds that have come out during uh, 2022, when they even admitted themselves that they have discovered things in the physics model that have allowed them to completely revise how the carcass tyre model works, the suspension and physics. And that's why they're slowly in the new in the builds going forward now are overhauling all the different cars. This game engine, the Madness engine, had potential. It just needed a talented and dedicated team to unlock it. And thankfully, the guy, well, not the guy, the guys and girls over at Reza were the ones to do it. Oh, and I'm so glad they did, because this car is so much fun because of it. Boof, curb. And we're going to cross the line. Fifth. Not bad, considering we started, what, 25th? This is what sim racing is all about. Finding something a little bit different. Being pleasantly surprised by just how good it is so if you've got Automobilista 2 do yourselves a favour if you're like me you like anything with uh, four wheels and a roof you are going to want to check these out but just remember that these things have got such an excitable rear end they are you know that's the the bit of the car that you're going to need to keep in check rather than the front but you will soon be throwing it around you'll soon be flicking the steering wheel this way that way 
And you will soon be smiling once you start to unlock the potential of these little cars. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, well, that's enough for me from today. As always, if you could hit that like button, we'd really appreciate it. Helps out with the old uh, YouTube algorithms. And uh, please, have a little click on one of my other videos there. Because you will find plenty of, um, plenty of more extra tin top content from all kinds of different sims. Hopefully you'll find something you'll enjoy and you'll want to watch. There we go. Lovely. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed making it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. But until then, have fun. Bye-bye.